UFC 278, and what we have is the co-main is Paula Costa versus Luke Rockhold. And I believe this is going to be, I think, the first time or potentially second time I've showcased Rockhold on the channel. Could be the first time. But he's actually a pretty underrated four-star. His perks are very solid with regards to stamina and grappling on the ground, as well as his kicks get that plus four boost. So his kick speed's actually like a 99. Of course, his blocking isn't the best and his head movement isn't the best. But actually watching a bit of film on Rockhold, he does a good job rolling underneath his... uh lead uh check hook with his right hand when he throws his cross he doesn't throw in combination often he throws kind of single shots to get his opponent to like buy the bait and he'll, he actually uses his feints pretty well to set up that devastating body kick that he has of course on the ground his takedowns aren't necessarily the best because he's actually more so of an opportunistic grappler when it comes to getting to his opponent's back that's how he's gotten his rear naked choke finishes but when he gets on top he's a monster as we saw when chris weidman made the fatal mistake of throwing that back kick and once he gets that back lunch on you to wrap his shin's an 85 and his recovery is an 85 the recovery is more so the bigger issue than the chin per se but I, i'd argue that the chin stuff i mean look who he got knocked out by he got knocked out by uh romero blahovich um right it was blahovich i'm pretty sure he got knocked out by and who else did he get knocked out? oh bisping and that was a, you know, hold on, I'll expand upon that in a bit once we go through his move level. But he, he's got knocked out by some of the, Vitor, Belf, uh, Vitor Belfort, yes, yes. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think too. But anywho, see his jab straight and his lead hook, very solid. You can work those three in combination. That's a preferred combination he likes to get when he gets comfy. So you can see the body jab and the body straight at level three. Those are good poke weapons, especially because of his height. You just have to be really careful with the uppercut. That lead overhand after watching some film should be a level two. It shouldn't be a level one. Neither should his haymaker be a level one. And he likes to throw that lead overhand after he rolls underneath the cross, after his own cross, or when he throws the lead hook. So like he likes to throw like the little slip straight lead overhand, or he likes to throw a lead hook and then throw a rear overhand. Weird stuff, but his lead question mark kick honestly should be a higher level, should be a level three. He has a nice combination with it where he throws a cross and a lead uh, question mark kick. Yeah, really, really diverse move set. And he has a good background in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I believe he took gold at the World Jiu Jitsu Championships. Like probably like way before I started grappling, I think it was probably like 2007, maybe, 2006, something like that. Overall, he has a really good move set. You know, good judo reversals. He honestly should have better ground and pound. I, I, I should argue that he should have good, better ground and pound. That's one of those things that I have an issue with um, underrating fighters just because of like certain bad losses. Because he is a really, he's one of the most skilled guys in middleweight. It's just that the attribute of relying on his durability is not something he should be relying on like you know but anywho we're gonna probably do i think maybe two or three fights in quick fight and i believe light heavyweight is on so we might have to get like a light heavyweight fight with rock i'm not waiting for middleweight i got shit i gotta do but yeah let's go have fun with the showcase i will never avoid whitaker whether it's quick fight or rank championships this dude's playing no games he chills whitaker off rip and as you know with whitaker he's an absolute buzzsaw he's better in ufc 4 than he is on 3 because Bisping was so goddamn broken with his stamina perks on UFC 3. And because you could never lose stamina if you had, like, the perks that Bisping had. It, he's just a, just a problem in UFC 3. But now, Whitaker's a freaking animal, so. With Rockhold, we're gonna try to press this Whitaker up against the fence. Alright, so, I'm trying to read his reaction. You see that? He blocked low after that lead. Faint. There you go, that front kick up the middle opened up. And the goal with Rockhold is to not stay in extended exchanges in the pocket because with the chin stat, <laughs> I try to force that. The chin stat, when the lower the chin is, it's not just a health thing, it's also a hit stun rate thing. So the lower your chin, the more likely you're going to get locked into a frame disadvantage that's going to lead to you getting blitzed to shit. And I'm not dealing with a uh, <laughs> fast ass Whitaker in the pocket. But this guy, he's waiting a little bit too much. He's biting on all the feints. And I just want to stay mainly, work from the outside. But don't allow him to press me back against the fence. And if he chooses to get aggressive, then we're going to try and clinch. Use some knees to the body to turn him. And if we can get a takedown, we'll get a takedown. Alright, with that body jab. See, that body jab was what got him in trouble against uh, Michael Bisping. I was trying to say a little bit earlier. Oof. But he stepped a little bit too deep with that body jab and just utter disrespect for Bisping skills and that's what lets him get it knocked out. Right. Really so far this is going well. I just don't think he can afford to take shots from Costa. 
Lacosta is a volume hitter himself. Hasn't had a win in a while. But can definitely sit down Rocco. Again, this Rocco's recovery isn't the best either. Yes, you get a recovery snapped off some two beautiful roundhouse body kicks. You definitely felt that. There we go. You know he felt that. I'd argue for um, Rocco. The thing is, because his takedown offense isn't that varied, and uh, Costa, excuse me, has proven. Let's go. He's proven to be very hard to take down with like regular shots in general. And he doesn't seem to have the same takedown offense as like Marvin Vittori per se. And Marvin Vittori didn't, couldn't really hold down Costa for like too long. I think Costa actually took down Vittori once, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta rewatch that fight. I'd argue that Rockhold would have to capitalize on Costa going too far forward. Overstepping is uh overstepping on a strike and then getting to that body lock he loves so much. And if he can get to Costa's back, that's gonna be a perfect scenario for him. But more likely than not, if he hasn't worked on his defensive weaknesses, on his exits particularly, or out of time, he's gonna he's gonna get knocked out again. Right? He's gonna get knocked out again. But if he comes out and he decimates Costa, I believe it was uh Marshall that was saying like how skilled he hated Rocco for quite some time. But he was saying like Rockhold's really skilled and you know he may say some cringy corny things at times But he is truly one of the more skilled middleweights on the planet when he's on to Try to open up a little bit more up Oh my lord Okay See, And that's why I don't want to stay in the pocket It doesn't matter how good I am oh, The shoulder deflected a little bit It's hard to exchange with somebody who has 90 something chin and crazy power so we gotta stick to what works best for us mm -hmm. and notice that I'm taking away the timing of this Whitaker he wants me to go and take turns with him I ain't gonna allow fucking shit <laughs> I am gonna allow that he's gonna change up our targets to the body to the leg to the head and that's a good that means my block is pretty low and again, this is right now. This is on quick fight, so this guy can see my HUD exactly where it is. So that's probably why he's getting a lot more confident. Because if he's trying to work on my guard, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what he's trying to do. He's not really trying to work. There we go. A system of grappling per se, but he's trying to force me to make some bad decisions in the pocket here, and I can't afford to stay here with fucking Rocco. Nope. Mm. If he throws that one-two hook again, I might have to shoot. Oof. No, oh my god. Yo, you yeah, heard that? Alright. We can shoot. There we go. We try to pre-deny turn. Okay. We got two minutes, so we have more time to work for a sub. I believe it was a guy on Twitter, uh, DJ Carter or something. He said, if I don't get a guillotine from... Mount. <laughs> like it doesn't count. But. Ha! Sweet! Yeah, watch this. Watch this. Oh, never mind. He's probably going to get out. Uh, wait. Uh, okay. This is the submission. Like, when you hit this guillotine, you get mount. So, technically, you know, you're going to get mount when you finish this guillotine from Sprawl. Uh, Wait a minute. No fucking shit. Ah, hey. oh, fuck. No, 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 bubble, no bubble. Ah, let's go. Yes. Woo. Ah, oh, he quit out. That's cool. All right, we got we got the Mount Gate team for you, brother. We got the Mount Gate team for you. Let's go. Yo, I did not realize how strong Rockhold subs were because he had a pretty, pretty good lead. Like usually when a lead like that off the sprawl guillotine, you can't really get it. Maybe he kind of slowed down his offense and thought he was going to get out in a later stage. But you don't want to allow, in this game especially, you don't want to allow for the sub to get too deep. But, all right. We'll take it. We'll take it. Then we got time for one more quick fighter or two, and then we'll head over to rank championships. I would have loved to see this matchup. Darren Till. This dude chose Till. Now, see, I love quick fight for this reason. When people use different fighters and i don't know I don't, of course i don't know what type of till this guy is going to be but the game plan is going to stay the same okay 
But there are one twos, one twos. Now, the one two is a very safe strike to throw when you're going against somebody taller than you. And for some reason in this game, it's really hard for like the taller guys to move their head as fast as they would like if you hold block for too long. So, this guy's mainly working off of his jab. And he's timing when he's thinking I'm gonna return fire. So, we're not gonna press the issue too much. Okay, you see that? That's the one, that's the straight, straight, straight round strike. Like, no, it's not straight kick, straight hook. I'm not thinking of it like that. It's straight, straight, and then straight round strike. Whether it's going to be a hook is the round strike or the body kick is the round strike. And what that does is that if I slip, the hook can hit me. Or if I slip and I slip to the wrong side and that body kick hits me, it's going to do, it's going to do a lot more damage. Big punch. Keep intercepting. Rocco has some devastating knees. Under three minutes to go around. Ah. He's still not going to. He should have went to my body after that. I I don't even need to see my my stamina to know that did a chunk of my goddamn body. But maybe he doesn't want to press to press the action too far. But get him where we need him to be. He's throwing a lot of strikes. And the fact that he's going forward, oh, nice throw the rear hook. He's going forward. He's using a lot more stamina for his set strikes. So you just gotta just keep intercepting, right? We gotta make him come into our range and get that gradual body damage because when you have a fighter that has lower, what? Are you fucking serious? By the by the skin of his teeth, fuck gave him a little buzz cut, not buzz cut, or shape, gave him a nice little shape up. Okay, now he's switching up to the body. Ay, ay, ay. Forgot what I was going to say. But anywho. Okay, no, this is what I was saying. You got to keep working the body. When you're the guy that has lower head health stats, the body work is going to be your best friend. There we go. Ho, ho. Let's go. Just like that. He blocked low. His head health had to be low with the short term. Good job denying that takedown. So let's see what's gonna happen. Nope. Of course, as y'all know, we got block a body kick. More likely than not, as long as you weren't continuing to hold block, you can land that uh, lead hook or real hook right after. He's still skating by the cage, which is a weird thing to do. But just eat him alive with the counter shots for now. Just press him forward. All right. Good first round, good first round. We got the drop, we got the body damage. And that was a uh, subsequent, that was a body drop. So he got body health invented. He got head, he got head rocked, then body rocked, and then body dropped. So he's try, he was trying to play safe with those uh, strikes that he's throwing because those are generally the least consuming strikes to throw. But that went all out the window because of the damage we accrued. Now, I don't know where my head off is at. I didn't eat too many clean shots. So, I think we should be fine for now. There we go. So he's trying to be aggressive. But this is like, I call this false aggression. Like, he wants to go forward. But he's always going to go in the retreat right after, right? And like, when he gets pressed up against the fence, he's going to go. No, good denial. But it's once he gets pressed up against the fence, he feels the need to come right back. You see that? That's his pattern that he's working. He wants to go one, two, then he pauses because he's thinking I'm gonna go in and he's gonna throw his strike right after. So he's gotta keep taking that away from him. See that? He's gonna plant his feet and he's gonna go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Body health event. Let's go, that's another good body shot. Mm, fucking cross of till is annoying. Dude, you should not. You got you gotta start you gotta take away see when you're going against Rocco, you need to take away his kick range. That's a good uppercut. Because that's where his best weapons are, so you wanna take it away. So I can now I'm gonna play outside here. There you go. See that every single time. Every single time I push him up against the fence, he tries to go forward. And that's why the body shots are eating him alive. Because he's going straight into it, into the forward vulnerability. 
and it's just doing all the extra damage. Oh, that was horrible. He can't, this guy cannot fight actually going forward past his black line. And this is, that's actually an issue that plagues a lot of players. Imagine if Rockwood puts on a performance like this against Costa. He's picking him apart with his kicks, out kicking Costa to a unanimous decision or something. That'd be nuts. Let's go. Two of the targets. He keeps sapping away at the body. So you can see something. There we go. Rock low. <laughs> yes. Yes. You no, know, let's let's check out the replay. Let's check out the replay. He didn't quit out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I like that he has his own signature uh, douchebag. <laughs> the cool guy. The cool guy walk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at my widow speak. Yeah, celebration. Watch this. See that? You see how his uh his lead leg step forward? He was gonna bounce right back. And once you get when you can force somebody to keep reacting the way you want them to, and they don't even realize they're just doing this out of habit. Of course, the body damage is done, but we got a nice spinning back kick KO. That's pretty hard to get. I like that. I like that. I think we're uh, good to go for ranked championships for sure. Rocco feeling smooth. He is feeling very, very smooth. Maybe if he goes three rounds fully would cost to eat some shots maybe that chin could get buffed up to like an 88 89 if i state my case or something maybe bring a little bit of film and i don't know i don't know we could see but let's go over the rank championships that was fun so yeah i'm happy we didn't get heavyweight that, that would have been so goddamn annoying so we're going against a teammate a rock hold mr dc who's gonna be doing commentary for this fight i always like it when uh okay respect Commentary when he, wa when he watches himself fight. I would have liked for there to be uh, more commentators. Like I would have loved to have Joe Rogan back on this. Oh, he's sidestepping. He's sidestepping. I fought this guy before, it said. So maybe I sidekicked him to death the first time I fought him. Oof. What the hell? Okay, hold on. No. He's not going for the takedown. Yeah, he's gonna angle out. Ooh, okay, okay. That's a mean four piece. He likes to end his four strike with a straight. When it came to the four piece, we're gonna keep mental note of that. Okay. See, I don't like that. He, <laughs> that kind of weirded me out that he just sidestepped like three, four fucking five times in a row. Okay, that's gonna take a sap out of his stamina. It was kind of weird. It was like saying, like, oh, I know you're going to sidekick or something. Or maybe he's just traumatized by rock holds and he's running to, like, go 10 on 9 using rock hold or something. That dude has a nasty rock hold, too. Nope. Sink that one right to the body. Get that outside angle. Excuse me, Oh, nice. Hmm. We got five rounds to work, though. So far, so good. There it is. Oh, he pulled it. See, it's very weird for me to see a Cormier that's not trying to grapple right away. I, there's this one video I'll never forget it from uh, Marshall Mind, and it was when uh, he lost to a DC because he was uh, frustrated that the DC was fighting on the outside. Oh, fucking shit. Wow. I, wow. I rarely give up that slam. Wow. He got that off of my retreat, but it's okay. We got your Jeets one on side. I'm going to show you, I'm gonna show you why Rock was a problem on the ground, my friend. We got Mount. No? That's cool. We got a minute 20 to work. We, we've landed the more damaging shots, so we can afford to stay up here. But I, I think the video I was referencing, like, he was, he, uh, did the recording after he had fought the guy, and he was explaining, like, this is something that kind of throws people off, and it's, I'm also guilty of it myself, like, when I'm trying to do, like, showcases or just trying to have fun, I try to, like, rush people to get them out of there just to go on to the next thing, and I shouldn't do that, you know, I, I really should do that, shouldn't do that, but when it comes to winning, oh, this is perfect, when it comes to winning, you have to just recognize the situation at hand, like, some people, they might have the whole day for them to keep playing this game. Like, I saw this dude on, on Twitch. I, I went into Twitch and some dude was streaming the fucking game. 
for 13 hours or some shit, or like 13 something hours. And all I thought was, wow, oh my god, you know, for like 13 hours. And, and I thought about that, and um, like, yeah, like some people they have the time, like they don't, they'll circle away their entire life and they'll just camp on you making that one mistake. They could be losing the entire fight. And they'll just wait for that one mistake so they can get the dub. But regardless of that, this DC, I don't know if he has much after that. I mean, dude, I was putting back this earlier, so I gotta be aware of that. I don't wanna slip into it. Respect. But so far, a solid round for us. Oh, you see a kickboxing DC. See, sidestepping again. So we gotta time him. When he sides, mm, when he sidesteps, like we gotta wait for his feet to set back after he sidesteps to land our side kicks. Mm. Nope. Mm, he's gonna try to pour up. Uh, punch. No. He's looking at Marjorie strikes now. Fifty-six to eighteen. That's crazy. Nope. Duck. There we go. Finally. I couldn't get that kick in the quick fight I fought against uh, Whitaker. I tried doing a lead question mark. I mean, y'all gonna see that, but the fuck out of here. <laughs> I tried going for a lead question mark kick against Whitaker. Right, so Did not land it. I just tried forcing it off to the cross combo. We got 3, 16, 14, 15, 13, go ahead, well, off, whatever. We just keep working there. Can fake that. Denied that move. What? Bro, I denied the shit out of that. Whatever. You should probably cancel, my friend. You should probably cancel. Oh no, he's going for it. Hmm. I think one thing that's always annoyed me with um, the subsystem, aside from how it is, how it works per se, when it comes to some subs jumping stages faster than others which makes that sub a lot more dangerous because the deeper the sub gets the harder it is to get out but i do not like the bundle system and the bundle system is that for example um if you want to give somebody a guillotine counter or whatnot or maybe like a certain type of what the fuck is this guy doing well i did not shout that um if you want to give somebody like a certain thing, right? Like say, uh, Dustin Poirier has the Omoplata, or like you went for Omoplata, right? Well, if you want to give him the Omoplata, you kind of have to give him shoulder locks like level three or something, right? And with shoulder locks level three, he, I think he, he will end up getting, you know what? I haven't even tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure he has access to like the back clinch counter Kimura. And I don't like that you have to bundle submissions together once you hit a certain level, because then it gives people access to things they shouldn't have. Like, Rocco, for, for what it's worth right now, he feels pretty solid, so. Let's try to get out of here. Okay, just let me. No. Um, why am I not going anywhere? Yo. Bro, I'm holding. Yo! <laughs> yo, 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 what the fuck? Bro, I'm holding up. I'm holding up. What the f- Bro, last run I was in that position. I held up to where though. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bug or something. Regardless though, that's, I don't think that should have been anything significant to change uh, the course of the fight the way it's going right now, but... Round three. Leg kicking with DC. So we'll plant with one. Just to let him know that it's not safe to just get in our face. But we can't afford to do that too much with Mr. Five Star DC. Got him there, trying to sidestep. The bleed knee. To that pudgy midsection. Oh, yo, I hate that so goddamn much. How can force field warp? I'm playing, uh, man, these guys get outstruck by a ridiculous margin. Three times, oh my lord, why didn't you shoot? You got a better ch chance on the ground right now than outscoring this rocket on the feet, and I I'm prepared to go the full five. 
Nope. That's stupid game's priority over everything. Go. Ooh, body health event. Back up. Oh, got another body kick. Nope. Another body health event. Oh, he didn't block well. Let's see the body. I really want to get a body KO finish, but I'll say where I can get. That one earlier, nice one against a tilt earlier, so. Oof. Come on, back up, back up. Back up, just let me do what I want. <laughs> let me do what I want. Mm -hmm. Another body teeth. He should, he should honestly be uh, clinching me or something right now because it is not looking too good for old boy. I'm going to keep it circling to the outside of lead leg. Mm. See, I want to just circle out. Just circle away, circle away. Another body kick. No. He's back up. No. See, he's closing the distance so I can't get that goddamn body kick I want. Oh. Oh! Do we get him out? Yes, we do get him out. Yo, it, it wasn't just me that that body kick track him on the way down. That's some added insult to injury. Good, good fight, good fight. I would have expected him to be a lot more aggressive. I think we're going to call the, the Rock Code Showcase at this, but let me just see that replay because I'm pretty sure that kick tracked him on the way down and just rammed his midsection <laughs> to add insult to injury, okay? You block low. Lead hook drops him. Oh, and soccer kicked him in the belly. I wanted to go for um, the spin combo, but I guess I inputted it the wrong way. And you just look at that. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's such an asshole thing to do. <laughs> but overall, um, pretty solid showcase. We got the mountain guillotine. We got a body spinning back so kick KO. We got a nice KO here. So I think I'll call it that. Verdict on Rocco. Solid four star fighter. You're gonna probably get shredded against better players, but he's definitely fun to use. His kicks are crazy. I'm sure I probably could have done a lot more traditional combos, but you know, best of luck to the guy against Costa if he gets it done. Could be another title uh, run for him. If not, he's probably gonna retire. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed that showcase. Remember, the team, we got more showcases coming for this fight card, and I'm excited to bring it to y'all. Like, share, subscribe if you already haven't. Remember, the team, I'm out of here.